What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my Let's Build New Orleans series uh, here on my channel. So if you're new here, hello, I am Simply Coco. Real name's Corey, if you didn't put two and two together. Um, I didn't mean that rude, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, don't forget to give me a subscribe if you like what you see. Please go and check out my speed builds if let's builds aren't your thing. And please go check out my let's plays if speed builds aren't your thing. I do a right, wide range of things on this channel. Um, so hopefully you enjoy. And if you enjoy this video or others, please go and give them a like. Um, that way the YouTube algorithm will like me. <laughs> um, other than that, I do have another series on my channel called Simply Salvaged. It only, I only have one uh, video up from that series so far because no one is posting to the gallery. But basically, you um, build a rundown or abandoned or nasty or gross looking um, house or community lot of any type. And then you post it on the gallery using the hashtag simply salvage and then give me a storyline and a budget and I may possibly renovate your build in a future video. But other than that, let's hop into game and get started with um, part two of this let's build. Okay guys, here we are back at the build. So I literally didn't change anything <laughs> since the last part mainly because I'm recording this part like an hour or two after the first part i'm in different clothes because i had to i went and got some food um and it's like 30 degrees outside so i put on a sweater <laughs> i don't know what that was uh anyway before i continue with the plants and stuff i think i'm just gonna get some like street signs in um just to kind of make it realistic. Maybe I can put this one in because you're not supposed to go that way for whatever reason. So that's just telling you from the road. And then maybe we'll put this one on this corner or something. <laughs> I don't know, literally just kind of doing it. Maybe the street signs don't even matter, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I don't think we're gonna find a place to put anything like this, because if I put it like there, then that completely blocks off that entire thing. Yeah, I'm gonna save that because um, that could possibly go like, I don't know. I just feel like it wouldn't be in front of a vintage store I mean I guess it could but oh there's already a fire hydrant there so we don't need a fire hydrant we're probably not gonna need that uh, we could use these but nah I know I spent some time at the beginning of this at, in the first part pulling all that stuff out and I literally just deleted it all but it's okay <laughs> one thing I'm seeing in my reference photo though is a lot of trash cans so I think I'm gonna use these from City Living and just kind of place one here. And then in New Orleans, if you know anything about New Orleans, <laughs> you do need plenty of trash cans. Uh, let's put that one there. Let's, let's finish hanging up some of these. So I think we're gonna do this pretty uniform. And just kind of go, uh-oh. What the size? No. <laughs> no, sizing it up is not the move. Um, they're just kind of, they just don't hang low enough. The only other thing I could think to do is try to hang it from the spandrel. Like so, like that. But that's going to take a lot to do that all the way down. If we can just find the right... There we go. If we just find like the right point to line it up, 
it might not be that hard. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We're working it. We're working it. Let's get another one. So we, uh, yeah, let's skip that one. So we go here and then we go all the way up. Boom, shakalaka. Now I like this one because it's like very like fern looking, but I don't like that it has the dead plants hanging off of it. But I guess that's realistic because, you know, well, it's, it's not that it's, I don't know. It's just because the color of the dead plants hanging off of it, they're white. So that kind of throws me a little bit. That, that's what throws me a little bit. I'm actually going to save these red ones because I'm pretty sure we'll do this on another build as well. And so I don't want it to all be the same flowers. So another building can have the red ones. And then one more. Yes. Okay, now we're going to get... Do we want to put like... that's one? That one's too big. But I do want to put some sort of plantage moments. I maybe should have done this four, like four tiles in, but then that makes a giant sidewalk. <laughs> I'm just saying because there's not going to be much room for anything else. Cause like if I were to put like a planter box right here, then I don't know if they could even get around that technically. I mean, it really doesn't matter as long as they can get in the door, but I don't know. Let's look in this one. Cause I, on the reference photo, not that I'm like trying to copy it exactly. I mean, I am, but <laughs> maybe I could use like something like this. That's very, that's very New Orleans-esque. Should we go with the taller one? I feel like the vintage store wouldn't have that though. So maybe putting it outside of the, um, ooh, what if we use these? I've actually never used these in a build. Nah. <laughs> these would work. Maybe like size down twice in the black swatch, black and with the white flowers. And we can kind of push it in as much as possible. One, two, uh, yeah, twice. Let's circle this one around. even though that's the vintage shop and they probably wouldn't have flowers like that. They probably would have something like creepy, but I don't, what do we have creepy? I'll have to look in like, what is that pack? I'll have to look in the spooky pack, the spooky stuff pack. And then maybe these outside of the flower shop. I mean, not flower shop, bookstore. Maybe. Um, I like these, but if I put one over here, it's going to go into the sign. So I'm trying to find something else. What if the two one is two? So maybe I like the ones that are there. I like the ones that are there. Yeah, that's fine. Now let me just look at the spooky stuff pack just to see like what's in there. That could possibly be like creepy because <laughs> it is supposed to be voodoo a voodoo 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 um so nothing in there <laughs> aren't voodoo dolls a part of the game though so let me just search voodoo and see what comes up voodoo okay so we do have a voodoo doll <laughs> but okay that's perfect Perfect. We're done. No, definitely kidding. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what came in paranormal. I mean, we know what came in paranormal, but you know what I mean? If anything could be like, could set out front. 
like a hand? Do we want a hand? Or like one of these? Oh, that's cute. I mean, it's not cute, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so let's actually get rid of those. Actually, I'm going to replace those. I'm going to put these over here instead. Put those over there instead. And then right here, we'll put a little Tiki Man <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. I would put the cow plant if we could size it up. Everything doesn't have to be black. We can bring some color in. Let's maybe the green. So we can go with the bird. And then what else? We could do the orb. They can have a plant. They can have a plant. I mean, this, this plant's probably going to get used to death on the interior of some of these. But... Gonna have a plant just for some something extra, extra. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I mean, we have the orb. An orb wouldn't be that big though. I could like move this. Let's move the sign so we can move this back and maybe put the table that came with this pack. Um, <laughs> he clips to the table. Let's move him over there and then maybe have Birdie down there. And then an orb on the table. A candy jar on the table. <laughs> maybe it's not candy. Maybe it's like, I don't know, you, op you pull out a fortune or something. I don't know. And then the hand can go on the table. So it's like displaying what they sell and stuff like that. Just so we kind of know what it is without, you know, me having to tell you, oh, this is a voodoo store. <laughs> Hopefully that vibe kind of comes across. We really don't have very many like creepy objects. So I don't know what else we can put. If you can think of anything, please let me know down in the comments. But I have no clue. Ooh. I like this. We can make that work. Let's see. Let's see. So we have... Mister, we have that, we have uh, the hand, and we have a uh, la candy jar, and then we put this back, boop boop, move that forward, boop boop boop, there we go. Just to kind of fill up the table more, I feel like something else needs to be over here by Voodoo Man. <laughs> Or by, I don't know what to call him. I don't know what to call him. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we could put like a, 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 a vase. We could put a vase. Just like different stuff that they sell, you know? I said it's a vintage stop shop. I didn't say it was a voodoo shop, but I guess it could be both. So we have that. 
Should we put a mat there or should we put a mat on the interior? We can do both. So let's put a mat there. Um, probably wouldn't make sense for them to have the same mat. <laughs> so let's just go with a different one for there. It's the bookstore. Probably would make more sense for this to be on this side. Yeah, okay. Um, what else? What else do I need to do on the exterior? <clears throat> Let's just go around and do more of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need hanging plants at the top as well. Maybe all across... Uh, maybe I'll just do a few. Like, it doesn't have to be all across... So maybe I'll just do a few. So let's do one there. Let's do one here. Turn it, turn it. Let's do one here. Cause I'm getting the vibes without having, without um, it having to go, without having to put plants all the way across on this top row. Okay, that one's floating. Nope, I need this. Where do you go? <laughs> Let's make sure. Okay, this one needs to go up. Do, do, do. This one needs to come down like one or two. Oh, and you know what else we have? We do have. I think I'm going to add one of these outside of the bookshop. So, like there, just because we can. And then we also have the hanging. We have these hanging plants, but they're like, eh. But we also have these. So do I, maybe I'll save these two for another build. Cause there'll be plenty of more, like I said, there'll be plenty more pieces of this lot that will need that type of like hanging plant. Uh, let me, oh wait, I need to delete this door. No, this door goes over here and then this window goes away. Yes, so now I can move this window back to where I had it. Scoot that over. Just to balance that out. Okay, let's get some more of this coming through. Lift, 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 lift. So yeah, we can have some there. We can have some there. Um, what else? We have this bushy boy. I wish I could get it on the corner. But let's, let's put it right next to this one. Come on. Oh, this one like actually has a planter box with it. So it might act a little funky. <laughs> it might act a little funky. Let's get this another one of these. Where's the one that has like all of it on it? This one. I wanna use this one, but size it down. And let's get it right there. Okay. Now we just need something like down in this area. And I think I'll use two of these. So like one there and then size down another and put it right next to it. I can get jiggy with that. I can get jiggy with, it looks kind of uniform though. It's going boop, it's going down, up, down, up. <laughs> and if I put another one right there, it's just gonna be another up. <laughs> so maybe, I don't wanna put any on like the roof roof part of it. So we'll leave it as that. 
I think we're done with the exterior, if you can believe it. Um, I think we are. I don't really have anything else that I would want to add. I'm not crazy about having this stuff outside of the store, but there's really not much. We oh, well, you know what? Yeah, let's not have that on the outside of the store. That can be stuff that is on display. That can be stuff that's on that's on display. So you probably wouldn't be able to see that vase, but and I'm just placing this tentatively. <laughs> it's not going to stay here. I don't even know if I'm going to do this first. Like I don't even know if I'm going to do the uh the antique voodoo shop first. I may do the bookstore first because I feel like it'll be easier. But yeah, and then you'll be able to see certain stuff. Like I'll probably leave him sized up but put him up on a table and then you'd be able to see him. So I'll do stuff like that. I don't like it outside. So we I do want plants on either side of that now. So let's do that. I, uh... I don't know what though. I had those, but I like those better over there. I know it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> it matters to me. <laughs> I mean, even if it's just something simple like this, but like what person that owns a voodoo shop or an antique shop? I mean, I guess if we're going for more of the antique vibes and not voodoo vibes, then we could have stuff like this because it could be like, you know, I don't want to say an old grandma, but it could be like an old grandma that owns it. <laughs> or we could just go simple and use like something like this. And I think that's what we're going to do. Possibly in a different color. Actually, no, I kind of like how that blends into the wall almost, so we'll go with that. Okay, um, yeah, I got trash cans, I got a street sign. Oh, let's get some drains. Let's get some drains. I know we have a drain in the game. So this is what I was talking about. Maybe not this one, though, because this needs to, like, go up against. Like, if all of this was rose on, like, if all of that was up on one foundation, then that one would work. But I don't think I want it on a foundation. How would that look? Let's see. Let's just, let's just, for science. Yeah, see, I don't want, yeah, I don't want, I don't want it on a foundation. Uh, so we just need a basic drain. So kind of like this. Um, yeah, yeah, you walk across a lot of these and, and there's even one right there. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know how we would place them. I'm trying to think. Do you have to walk over some on the sidewalk in New Orleans? I'm just trying to see if they maybe put any on sidewalks. No, they put them all off the sidewalk. Um, I don't know. I just want a, a little bit of extra detail. That's all. Just a little bit of extra detail. So maybe I'll just put them like right there and I'll skip like, I'll skip every two like pillar things. one here and that'd be the last one just like, like I said just for a little bit of detail on the lot even though there's gonna be plenty of detail because this is only the beginning of this build <laughs> but I just feel like it needs more I mean it looks good I like it but I, I don't know I feel like it needs more <laughs> He says, as there's a thousand plants on the entire thing. Uh, one thing I will say is maybe bring one of these and try my hardest to get it on this diagonal. Just so we have something. 
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't like how we have this consistent shape across the bottom though. So maybe I'll put this one size down right here, just so it's not that consistent. They're all the same type of fern. Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, I guess we can start working on the inside. The question is, do I want to do the floor plan off camera or on a camera? I'm just gonna go ahead and bring these pillars all the way up. It's not gonna matter too much. I said this a lot in the last part, but it's not gonna matter too much once we uh, get the other buildings attached to it. It's really not gonna matter what's right here because it'll be right up against another building. So boop. And uh, I hate that pillars do this sometimes. They like act like stupid idiots. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I am liking this. Oh, before I forget, we need to make, so that's a door that will go up into the actual residential area of this part of the building or of, of this building. And then we need doors leading to the balcony, but I don't wanna use this same door. I use that one for the store. Don't want it to be a double door. Dumbledore. <laughs> this one will have that gold accent and we don't like her. <laughs> Does this one come in a black? I like that. We don't even necessarily have to get rid of a window to place it either. So let's see, let's go down to that level. So let's put that one there. And then let's put one here. Cause this is the upstairs for the bookstore and this is the upstairs for the um, what is this called? Store for the vintage store. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Ooh, I started a new. I've, I don't think I've ever yawned in a video. Maybe like once a while back, but I've officially started a new job. If you haven't like seen my last one of my previous videos where I've said that, sorry, I spit a little bit. <laughs> but I did start a new job, so I'm waking up. I'm going to sleep and waking up a lot earlier than usual. So yeah, I'm getting sleepy because, or I'm yawning because it's 9.30 and I, every night uh, this week I've been trying to be, sl not sleep by 9.30. I've, I've been trying to be off the game by nine and so that I could eat and shower and then get in the bed. But I don't know, I guess it's just early and I'm yawning. Anyway, that was a long, just winded way of saying that for no apparent reason. <laughs> so yeah, the exterior is done. So I didn't do much, but it took 28 minutes. So here we are, let's <laughs> go into the interior. So I've already kind of mapped it out as far as floor plan. It's not much of a floor plan. It's just, um, I won't worry about that yet because we're gonna start in the shop, I think. Um, but this is like the store, this entrance is so that the person that lives, um, how am I going to make that work? It's going to have to go this way. And then that window might need to disappear. Possibly unless I do this and then go boop, 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 close. That's gonna be a random little nook, but we shall deal with it. I could probably even close that off and make that an upstairs um, bathroom for the vintage shop. 
because that's what this is going to be a bathroom maybe this is the empo the employee bathroom and this is the uh bathroom for the people that are shopping but we also need another staircase these are just staircase that i'm using for now because i have no idea what staircases i'm going to use and then we need a staircase that goes into the upstairs of the shop so yes okay 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 now let's get some lighting i'm excited I, i'm really enjoying this build so far um i just hope it i'm just i'm just hoping i can like pull it together we won't we won't worry about furnishing that right now but yeah, so let me get rid of the lights in there. Because I'll furnish this as a part of furnishing the actual, like, apartment. Um, so that's kind of crazy how... <laughs> I said this in the last part, that whoever lives up there has to go in here, up one flight of stairs, into another small room, another flight of stairs, and then they're in their house. <laughs> Groceries would suck. It's definitely not for an older person. <laughs> Um, okay, let's move all of this out of the way. We can keep the plant there. Oh, no, we need a floor. Um, let me just Google real quick. Vintage store. Oh, hello. Vintage. Oh, my goodness, I cannot spell. Vintage store interior I'm a it's a New Orleans vintage store just to see what kind of floorings they have okay and that one it's concrete and that one it's like a tile concrete so it's just whatever it's just whatever because like I've some of these have concrete some of these have like the tile looking concrete and some have wood. So I'm I'm kind of leaning more towards an older wood. Um, again, kind of going along that storyline that this was... Kind of going along that storyline that this is owned by an older lady. And maybe she just hasn't, like, renovated or anything. So I'll go with that flooring. And for the wallpaper... Going along that storyline as well, I think I might go for this dirty, this dirty kind of situation. Because it's going to get covered up because a lot, a lot of stuff is going to be hanging on the wall and stuff like that. Um, what's on this? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Can we have a... Oh, that's pretty. Can all of it be that? I mean, I know there's bats on it, but I like that. I like that. <laughs> I mean, those are straight up bats, but I really like that. It's actually really pretty. I like that. I do. I wish I could... Uh... Technically, I can. I was going to say, I wish I could make it look older. I can, though. But I would have to use... Where are they? I would have to use the water stains. And then I could make the wall kind of just look older and dirtier. Just so it's not so clean. Like, even if I just kind of go across the bottom... I don't know. I like that wallpaper, though. Okay. I think I'm going to go even simpler than that, though, and just use this one. Just straight up white. Because, like I said, a lot of stuff is going to be up on the walls anyway. So, they probably wouldn't want to go crazy with the wallpaper or it might distract from what they're selling. <laughs> so, now we can work on the display. So... The plant can go back as long as it doesn't cut into anything. And then we need, should we use, come on. Should we use the ones from 
get to work. Oh, this definitely needs to go in here. In what tone, though? I like that one. We can put that. We can put some knickknacks in there. Where's the bathroom? Okay, so this might have to move over. Uh, let's get a door in for the bathroom, just so I don't forget. I wish there was like just a plain bathroom door. Like, because we have these modern ones, and then we have like. Where is it? We have the modern ones and then we have these. But I feel like, again, going with the storyline of an older lady owning this, she wouldn't have updated the doors. So let's just go with a normal door. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm responding to a text message. <laughs> I could cut that out, but I'm not going to. Okay, so this can go kind of more center and they still be able to get to the, well, maybe if we flip the door, no, oh, <laughs> I'll put something else there. Let's put this, that can't go there. Um, uh, okay, yeah, it's going there. It's going there. <laughs> Let's swap out these stairs. We'll probably go with the same, okay, we'll go with these. <laughs> Just to get that brown in there. And then let's choose a railing. Um, snowy escape maybe? No. Yeah, let's go with these. Let's go with that railing. It's so dark right there. Is it because the upstairs has no lights yet? Okay. We probably won't get to the upstairs today. Let's put this right on the edge. Um. Where okay, let me look at the bathroom. So this can scoot over to at least there. So yeah, we can get this in. We can get that right there. And then maybe just a plant or something in that corner. And then something there. Um okay, back to surfaces because I'm still trying to figure out what to like have on display. Mmm. We have these, but that's too modern. Hmm. How do I feel about this? I mean, it's kind of modern. It's actually very modern. It's, <laughs> it's not kind of modern. Okay, that doesn't make sense. That looks like food. Let's pull these out because that's going to go in the bookstore. What is this? Oh, we can have this. We could have like two of these. I mean, I know there's plates in them, but I mean, they can sell vintage plates. And we could like clutter up those shelves and that can be behind the register. Let me move all of that. Does that fit? It does. We won't use it though. <laughs> um, I think this is what I was looking for and I was gonna take it and then like face it towards the window and then put stuff on it. Nah, nah. Let's move this. I'm just gonna use a, con a regular like console table. Beep. Okay. Should we use one with a, see it's not tall enough. Should I move the windows down so that the stuff can be seen? Or can we find a higher table? I think all the tables are gonna be the same height though. <laughs> this is the issue. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. So if we did that, and then put Mr. Hand on it, you would not be able to see Mr. Hand. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I could use a platform. That would be too extra. Okay. I think, okay. We're just going to move this down. to like there. Yeah, we'll move that down. We'll move this one down just to match it. And then now let's see. Yeah, we should be able to see some stuff now. So we'll put Mr. Tiki Man there give me something else that's semi tall let's get rid of that live edit and debug oh what's this uh, can you see it though can you see it though not really not really <laughs> put a skull I mean, you never know. Skulls are vintage. They're old. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't. This one's pretty big. Yeah, let's use this one. Right there. Wait, is that going to like... That's almost going to block you from getting in. So if we use it, let's actually use it over here. And then maybe move Mr. Tiki Man over here. Can we size the bird up again? No. <laughs> I mean, we could, but I don't want to. Uh... She has gone with the wind, fabulous. <laughs> uh, ooh. This gives me very vintage vibes. Let's put that there. Ooh. Let's use that one. Well, wait, if we put this... Will that stuff show now out the window? It will indeed. <laughs> so let us, let us place a table there. Get rid of this, no. We'll keep that. Move, Mr. No, I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll just put this stuff on here. How about that? How about that? Uh, we don't need the candy man, the candy thing. Okay, Mr. Hand, an orb, Miss Lady. Okay, all right, let's move this out. Let's try and get Mr. Bird on there as well. Mr. Bird can go there. And then let us size this down and get the vase right there. I mean, you can't really see it, but it'll look better from the inside. Um, 
this can just kind of like maybe go in this corner and have stuff on it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Let's get the register going. How long have I been recording? 45 minutes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. So I'm probably just going to like roughly do this and then call it a part because I did not realize... I had been recording that long already. Sorry that this part didn't really have very much, but we're we're getting there. We are getting there. Um, I think these actually need to be flipped. Boom, and then give me like an end piece. Boom. And then move these in. Okay, we're only going to have one. <laughs> we're only going to have one. And these actually kind of look too new. So maybe I'll end up using like this or something. Because these look too new. So maybe we'll go with these. Corner piece. And then end piece. That's clipping for sure. It's not the right in peace. It's not the right. There we go. <laughs> Why does it look like we could fit two now? Did I go? Let's just center that some more. Um, no, because then I could put like something else right here and clutter it up. Like, like, a like. Where is it? Where is it? Um, no. <laughs> like I could put that and put some merchandise on it. That's still not what I was looking for though. I was looking for this. So we can do that and put some merchandise on that. We'll put a register up there. We'll put some rugs, a lot of rugs and the rugs could be for sale as well. And then we'll put a frick ton of, <laughs> we'll put a bunch of stuff on the walls because that will give off very vintage vibes. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to wrap this part up here. Um, we'll continue this in the next part and hopefully get to upstairs. And if we, f yeah, yeah, hopefully get to upstairs. Um, and then we'll be done with the first little bit of this build. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video. Exactly when I post it. And I will see you all then. Bye, guys.